y'all welcome back to my channel and today i am going to be recording like a small little vlog i guess um of me doing some more of nalani's room and i also said on instagram um that i was going to record a explanation video pretty much explaining uh the few complications that I've been having um towards the end of my pregnancy so I was going to let you guys know that because people were kind of concerned about me being in the hospital um over the weekend today is Tuesday January 21st and I was in the ER on Friday so I was going to um pretty much record myself doing this and then um I'm going to let you guys know pretty much like what's been going on with the pregnancy and all of that so pretty much i'm just cleaning up her room right now um this table right here that you guys have been seeing in the last few videos is actually going to be out of here today and we also bought as you can see right here um a bookshelf in which we're going to use as a shelf for her room and so i'm pretty much going to be doing that behind me in the closet um you can also see that i have those hangers there so i'm also going to be hanging up some of her clothes um, that don't necessarily need to be in her drawers so um yeah pretty much that's all i'm going to be doing uh in this video so i'm just going to speed this up as i finish this up really quickly and i'm going to play my music but of course y'all won't be able to hear it because i'm going to like i said speed this up <laughs> so
I'm about to go ahead and start putting this together. Oops. So, let's see. I got all the pieces over there. Um, don't mind the rest of the stuff that's in her closet because that stuff um, that has to be organized and put up. Um, the directions and everything is here. And so, uh, pretty much I'm about to put this thing together. So the first piece that I need is A. <sighs> Just this piece here. So Y'all, I might be ashy. Don't mind. Like, <laughs> I'm cleaning up. I'm at home. And I took a shower last night and didn't lotion up everything. It's also winter time. So, since being pregnant, my body tends to soak up um, all of the moisture that I put on. <laughs> on my body like I can't even use lotion on my stomach anymore I have to use oil Doing stuff like this, like, for her room and everything is so comforting and everything to me. Like, people say I be doing too much, but this kind of stuff makes me happy. Like, why not? Why not? together actually I'm gonna flip this one over so I can see that it's the A piece set these up against the wall since those are done you know F put three of these in here part F to B. First part done. <laughs> Steps one and two are done. Part three. Pretty much have to attach these to D and D. 
look at me, it's like this. So, part B goes down here. I'm showing that this part is outward. It says all unfinished edges are facing up. So this is the wrong way. Okay, so that is that. And Oh, and these go over the screws. So I need one and six. Oh, this is so cool. So these are numbered. <clears throat> I'm slow. But these are numbered at the top, like up here where this thing is circled. And it's telling me which numbers I have to use. I have to put a screw in here. And a screw in here. And I also have to put two here. This part may be boring. Should I just come back to y'all like when I'm done? Maybe. I'll come to y'all when I am almost done or got most of it done or something like that. I feel like this would be boring for y'all to watch, so. All right, so I just wanted to come to y'all real quick because clearly y'all can see um, I'm not building the bookshelf anymore it has already been put together so i'm just going to show you all that and then i'm also going to um just give you all a little bit of insight on the little complications and stuff that i said i had going on um i do apologize for not recording the entire thing of me making the bookshelf but i'm pretty sure y'all didn't want to see that anyways because it's kind of boring and i'm literally just building a bookshelf so her bookshelf is completed let me just take this off the charger i actually have it right here in the corner um y'all can clearly see by the rest of everything that um the table is no longer in her room anymore thank god i know y'all were tired of seeing it i was tired of seeing it and uh yeah so i have it just uh kitty corner right here um I have not figured out exactly what all is going to go on here, but I do know that um, it was specifically made for her lotions and her soaps and stuff, in which I have placed at the top. Right now, just for the meantime, I have some shoes that she has uh, sitting right there. There's also another box of shoes that is sitting in this box on the floor, which is right there. Um, but yeah i finished the bookshelf and it was pretty quick and easy uh overall 
um i'm still trying to figure out exactly what all i'm going to put on it like i said um i'm not exactly sure but it is going to be used for her things that um don't need to be just sitting out uh i do want to buy her like some small little crate um baskets or something like that something that's small that i can stick all of her hair stuff in because i do know that i do want to put that stuff on here and in all honesty if her shoes does stay on the shelf they'll probably be at the bottom and then have all her other stuff at the top um she'll probably have her towels and stuff up here and um maybe blankets not sure like i said i'm still debating um what else the complications that i've been having so pretty much um i've talked to you guys previously before in one of my past videos pretty much just letting y'all know that i've been having trouble breathing and that it was something that was um starting to affect me more and more I do know that shortness of breath is a symptom once you get this far in pregnancy, especially in the tri third trimester, um, it's very common. It's nothing to really worry about because, of course, the baby is putting so much weight on your lungs. But, um, like y'all can tell now a little bit, I have um, been realizing that it's been a little bit more difficult for me to breathe than just shortness of breath here and there um sitting down talking like i'm sitting here doing with y'all if i'm sitting here having a conversation with somebody a lot of the times i realize like okay i'm out of breath and i need to stop talking and so that causes a problem because if i'm talking and i'm sitting down and i can't breathe imagine what's happening when i'm actually up and i'm doing things like cleaning the house, for instance, or even working the eight hours that I do at work um, during the week or during the weekend, really. But that causes a problem. And so Friday, what actually happened was um, I was at work and I had realized that I was starting to not be able to breathe. And every job that I did, I had to sit down in between, like I couldn't finish a job all the way through without realizing that I had to take a break. And so um, around one, anywhere from, I think it was like 1.30, I decided, like I had already eaten lunch and everything, so I decided like, okay, let me sit down. Now I had drunken, well, I had had because i don't even i feel like that's weird drunken i had drunken i had drunk multiple cups of water that day and for it to have been early i think um by that time i was on like my fourth cup of water and they want you to drink eight in a day so for me to have had four by 1 30 um that was pretty normal so i knew i wasn't dehydrated at all because i had been keeping my fluids up and so um I had sat down because I realized, okay, I can't breathe. Something's going on. So I went, I sat down to take a break. And while I was sitting down, I realized even then after 10 minutes that I hadn't caught my breath. So um, I sat there for about 10 more minutes. So I was there for about 20 to anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes before I decided like, okay, I'm going to call a triage because something's not right. Because by that time, after sitting down that long and not being able to catch your breath, I decided, okay, like, I can't get up to finish my job. It's early in the day. Let me call triage. And so I called triage. Um, they pretty much said that because they didn't think it was anything directly like dealing with the baby, that it would be better for me to go to the ER and for the ER to deal with me there because they would be able to handle it quicker than what triage could. And so, um, Thank God that I work in the hospital. I went downstairs to let my supervisor know what was going on and that I needed to go to the ER. One of my coworkers had actually offered to roll me down there in a wheelchair because they realized like, okay, me walking down there, I wasn't going to be able to breathe. By the time I got downstairs and I had told my supervisor what was going on, I was literally explaining to her while damn near hyperventilating. Like... <sighs> 
this is what's going on and I couldn't catch my breath. And so my coworker was like, let me just wheel you down. I'd rather make sure that you get down there safe. And so she did that. I got to ER and I had been there for, at this time, the whole time that I could not breathe, it had been about 30 minutes. Um, when I got to e the ER and they pretty much took me in, still was realizing like, okay, um, I'm just kind of sore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just realized like my arm is like hurting for some reason. And I was like scratching over where the IV was in my arm. Um, but yeah, by the time I got to the ER, I had to sit in the waiting room. Um, they took my vitals and everything that they, they were normal ish, but they were still pretty high at the same time. Um, because when I first got them done, they said it was nothing for them to worry about. And then once I got in, like, towards the end of the night and they were taking my vitals, they were like, yeah, well, they were high when you got in. But they were telling me that they were normal. So I guess it was just them trying not to freak me out or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, they took my vitals and set me in the ER room. I waited for about 30 minutes before they uh, ran their first test on me once I got checked in. So I had to get a CT scan done. I had um, a oxygen monitor thingy that they did. They kept checking my um, vitals like every hour almost, it seemed. Um, they checked my vitals. I did an EKG. I had to do a lap. Like I said, that was like the oxygen test where they had me do a lap around the ER and see if my oxygen was dropping at all. No, I did not have to run. I just had to walk a lap and see what was going on with my oxygen levels. Um, they did chest x-rays. They took blood. Um, I had another thing done, another kind of test where it was like some kind of ultrasound, but they did it on my legs, on, my, on the inner and outer part of my legs to see if I had blood clots. Um... They ran a lot of tests and I was there from 2 p.m. all the way um, up until almost midnight, pretty much. Well, pretty much midnight. Um, and that was pretty much them trying to figure out what was going on. They couldn't find anything wrong. First, they thought I had a blood clot in my lung, got the CT scan done, realized that's not what it was. So it was a lot going on. Um, they weren't able to figure out anything. They pretty much gave me fluids and sent me home, but I got home that same night and still was not able to catch my breath and all of that other stuff. So I'm not really sure what's going on. My take on this whole thing possibly is that the baby might just be outgrowing me at this point. Not like it's completely possible to just, oh my gosh, the baby's so big. I'm about to just, you know, it's more so of a, uh, she's long. And I'm at that stage in pregnancy where she's about to just strictly be gaining weight. She has everything that she needs right now developed, or she's fully developed rather. Um, and everything from this point until the end of my pregnancy is her weight gain. And I feel like also with the fact that she's long and she's already dropped, that even though she did drop, usually once the baby drops, it relieves the pressure on your lungs and your stomach usually they say your appetite increase and you can breathe a lot better in my case i feel like she's long so she's still pushing up even though she dropped she's still pushing up and the weight gain and everything that's going on now is still causing weight and pressure to still be pretty much on my lungs so i still can't catch my breath or anything um Besides that, um, there hasn't been too much of anything, but that has been one of the, well, that and the constant contractions that I'm, the early contractions that I'm having, um, there hasn't been any other complications, but a lot of people were wondering from my social media, what had been going on, why was I in the hospital for so long and all that. And that's pretty much what it was trying to figure out exactly what's going on. But thank God due to my doctor's appointment today, they are going to, um, pretty much put in my last days of work so I will be done this will be my last weekend working and I can go on maternity leave so I can rest 
and get my body together because even after working yesterday I came home and literally the entire bottom half of my body was just in shambles it hurt to sit down like I'm not trying to be funny or anything but my butt literally hurt to sit down like my butt was sore my thighs were sore my calves were sore my feet were swelling up and they were hurting um I had contractions like the Braxton Hicks were like really really bad last night they were like constant back to back my back was in pain like just aching I was just going through a lot and so I feel like this is like the perfect time especially considering the fact that by the time I'm done working my last weekend that week I will be 36 weeks so I pretty much worked my entire pregnancy and now it's time for me to kind of just chill out before I make her come any earlier than what she's already expected to and I don't really want that I need her to at least stay in here until she's full term I would love to bring home my daughter right now and everything but I want a healthy baby I don't want to have to have her early and my daughter to have to sit in the NICU that's just my preference there's nothing wrong with it because a lot of people have their kids early and are perfectly fine they even told me at the er when i went that if i was to have her now that she'd be perfectly fine but you always should want and hope for your kids come out full term so um that is just what's been going on nothing too serious um no we still don't have a solution or i don't have a solution from the doctors as far as exactly what happened but that's all i can pretty much say so um Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, keep supporting. Like this video. Share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are a new subscriber, hey, welcome to my channel. Um, I have my social media down below. Make sure you go and add me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. Um, I do have a Facebook page. I'll probably start adding that down below, I guess, uh, soon. Or I might just make a new facebook page for my youtube subscribers i'm not sure um yeah i'm not sure but i use my instagram and my twitter enough so dm me on there uh let me know any video suggestions that y'all have i do plan on doing a baby mama dance video because that has been highly recommended pranks are coming y'all know my last prank is going up right now the last time i checked it it was at 3.5k views so thank y'all so so much for the support um i am very 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 appreciative um turn on your post notifications so you know the next time i do drop a video and the next video will probably be um maybe the baby shower video possibly um which is next weekend so yeah y'all just stay tuned i am going to get up and go lay back down because this little girl is kicking and stuff a lot right now and i just need to relax before i have to go get up and go get my boyfriend from work so i will see y'all in the next video